Welcome to the Liz and Dave Beebe Erie Canal Park in Camillus, New York. This park was created in 1972 by a small army of volunteers who turned an abandoned overgrown portion of the historic and large Erie Canal into a 420 acre historical and recreational area. Let's take a quick peek at some of the unique features. When you pull into the parking lot, the canal just grabs your attention. This is the second east to west canal and it's called the Enlarged Canal. It was built from 1836 to 1862. Across the canal is a sign that says Camillus Landing. It's the halfway point from Albany to Buffalo. Boats would stop here to load or unload cargo for wagons headed to the local towns for small boats to travel up the feeder canal to the town of Camillus. An inviting building called Sim Store beckons the visitor to step onto the porch and to enter the replica of the original store circa 1858. The two-story museum has many artifacts and historical photos highlighting canal construction, structures of the canals, canal boats, and equipment of the canal, as well as life during the canal era. Located next to the Sim store is a replica looking shanty. Now this building is where the lock tenders rested in between locking through boats. On the wall are some historical documents called Bills of Leyden, belonging to a canal boat captain. These documents were discovered in an attic of a nearby home. Behind Sim Storp is Daisy in the mule stall. Mules pull the canal boats and a special item in the barn helped the mule with pesky flies. Look at the item made of leather strings. This was placed over the back of the mule as it walks, the strings move and shoe flies away. When you visit, take some time exploring the 1850s era tools and machines located here. One special machine that helped canal construction is the sulky Derrick stump puller. One person could operate it to clear stumps from the canal path. It could be taken down and converted into a movable vehicle to get towed by an animal to the next location. A very unique artifact is the more than 120 year old original enlarged canal gate from gear lock number 50. The gate was much taller, but the top half rotted away. The part on the display was preserved in the mud and dug out by the volunteers. It's the only enlarged canal lock gate that is displayed above water in all of New York State. So over here, we have the lifeboat from the Day Peckinpah. It was the last commercial ship to be used on the canal. Now the Day Peckinpah cruised the Atlantic Ocean, Great Lakes, and it carried dry cement from Oswego to Rome on the barge canal system. The hard to miss gold and blue buoy boat is from the present day Erie Barge Canal era. This boat with a one man crew would travel to the navigational buoys to trim wicks, fill the lanterns with kerosene and clean sooty glass chimneys. Check out the unusual engine during your visit. As we hike down the towpath, we pass the picnic pavilion with a kitchen area that is available for lunch or even a party. Thanks to a Boy Scout Eagle project, a fire pit was also constructed. Along the towpath, you may see walkers, joggers, bikers, dog walkers, and people fishing. The park has over 14 miles of trails. Across the canal is a fitness trail with 10 exercise stations. In the winter, people snowshoe, cross-country ski, and even snowmobile along the trails. There is a kayak, canoe, or paddleboard launch for an eastward four-mile round trip, or you can go across the road where you can also paddle a total of four miles heading west. The Catherine is pretty unusual because it's a houseboat, but it also has an interesting history. It includes floating on the canal for some years. One of the volunteers lovingly restored this unique boat. A special spot at the park can be seen from this overlook. It is the canal prism of Clinton's Ditch. The first canal started in 1817 and completed in 1825. This section of the canal was watered in 1820 and we are standing on the same towpath that mules and mule drivers walked upon over 200 years ago. As we hike the nature trail observing plants and animals, the first stop is an original three-hole outhouse that is over 100 years old. This was previously located by a lock shanty in Port Byron. There are four boats that are used for the hour narrated boat rides from May to mid-October on Wednesday and Sunday afternoons. So during the summer, make sure you sign up for the two hour dessert cruise with entertainment as you travel two miles down the canal and back to Sims store. Groups are welcome to make arrangements for private boat tours. 
While riding down the canal, keep your eyes open for all types of wildlife. Look for turtles, sunning on the logs, swimming snakes, geese, ducks, and even an occasional muskrat. And once in a while, you'll see a beaver. Check out the trees and the sky for many interesting birds, such as cardinals, Baltimore orioles, turkey vultures, eagles, hawks, great blue herons, and osprey. This is the Resort Aqueduct, the pride and joy of the park. It was originally built in 1844 to carry the canal over Nine Mile Creek. This is the only place in New York State where you can ride a boat on an aqueduct. Towpath Day, mark your calendars. It's celebrated on the second Saturday of August, and it's a special event with music, boat rides, crafts for children, crafter vendors, food, and so much more. The newest addition to the park is a steam engine exhibit that steams up once a month or by appointment. Featured as a coreless steam engine from Syracuse and other steam artifacts from the area's industrial past. To learn more about the park, go to ErieCanalCamillus.com and also check out the YouTube videos that give more historical details. Better yet, plan your own visit for a day of history and recreation at the Liz and Dave Beebe Erie Canal Park in Camillus, New York. This video was made possible by generous grants from Solve Bank. Solve Bank, make more possible. CNY Arts and News Channel 9. Thank you to News Channel 9 meteorologists Kate Thornton and John D. Pasquale for generously donating their time as narrators for the video. And a special thanks to the many volunteers and friends of the Liz and Dave Beebe Camillus Erie Canal Park who shared their expertise, time, ideas, photos, and artifacts to make this video to share with students from around the world.